My name is Sarah Brown. I'm the CEO of Western Desert Ngunnawal Wiltshire Palaeontology Jutiku Aboriginal Corporation. We started 12 years ago with the Western Desert Dialysis Appeal and an auction of Papunya Chula paintings at the Art Gallery of New South Wales, which raised a million dollars. Um, people had, had painted the pictures to try to do something for their mob who were on dialysis, who had been forced to leave their communities of particularly Kintor and Kirikura, to come to Alice Springs to have um, dialysis treatment three times a week for the rest of their lives. And so people said, why can't we have a dialysis machine in Kintor? And then people can stay home on their country with their family and contribute to their community. And so people painted some beautiful pictures, raised a million dollars, and um, the Western Desert Dialysis Project began. We're Western Desert, none of Watch Pali Jaku Jutiku Aboriginal Corporation and we've got 12 directors from across the Western Desert, Kirikor, Kintor, Mount Liebig, Warburton, lots of places. We've grown to have um, the Purple House in Alice Springs which is a centre for um, services um, for people who are in Alice Springs including bush medicine, social support, primary health care services, range of other things going on. And then we've got the Purple Truck, which is a mobile dialysis unit. No government funding, all, all um, philanthropic support and community support for that truck. So that means that um, we can get the truck back to communities that have no dialysis for a period of time so people can renew, spend time with their family on country and catch up with their grandkids. And that's been huge for giving people something to look forward to and to help people to pass on their cultural knowledge to their grandkids and their kids. So the Purple House in Alice Springs started to become the hub for people who were away from their country and um, somewhere that they could feel comfortable, they could get some dialysis, they could get well enough to go home and they could get some support to live in town. And people started to ask if we could get them bush medicines that they remembered from their childhood. And so we started making our own bush medicines for each other. So we'd make a batch of bush medicine and the patients would deliver it to each other in hospital. Um, and just the smell, that smell from their childhood, that smell of, of out bush, was something that was incredibly comforting for people. Yeah, when we make bush medicine up, we get the um, elders to teach the younger people how to do it. It's usually the women that teach. Pass that on to the next generation. What's different to have dialysing out bush and then in town? Probably because more family is at Bush, eh? Yeah. You've got all your family here, whereas in town they haven't. And you just get lonely, eh? Yeah. They want to see your family. She don't need family. Mm, so that's a, like a main mm. part of it, yeah. So it's a big onion of a story from assisting individuals to get back and have something to look forward to and a reason to keep, keep having treatment to the effect on communities of having those old people home, but then a broader effect of people feeling like they've got some control over their lives and that they can work together to see something happen and they can keep it going and they can be really proud of what they've achieved.